Hello, this is Keela, and I'd like to share with you a little bit of my poetry again. These are some of my favorites, and also a little bit of my life. Um, I shared the other day some of the tests that I took back when I started going to college, and uh, it was kind of blurry. But basically what it said is that my Myers-Briggs type indicator was INFP for introversion, uh, intuition, slightly into the feeling side, and perceiving. That's opposed, as opposed to extroversion, sensing, thinking, and judging. Introversion means that you probably relate more easily to the inner world of ideas than to the outer world of people and things. Thus, I sit here speaking to a camera, um, hoping that somebody's out there listening. Anyway, um, intuition means that you probably would rather look for possibilities and relationships than work with known facts. Eh, kind of true, I guess, in a way. Um, only very slightly went into feeling from thinking. Uh, that means you probably base your judgments more on personal values than on impersonal analysis and logic. Perceiving means that you probably like a flexible, spontaneous way of life better than a planned, decided, orderly way. Uh, and that's pretty much the truth. If I, if I have too much order or too many plans, I tend to get a little bit overwhelmed and kind of in a bad mood, pissy, feel trapped, don't like it. Thus, I've actually changed my life several times in my adulthood. Um, but there's the little, the little chart. So I don't think a whole lot's changed since then, oddly enough. Although I've lived quite a bit and learned quite a bit. That was, uh, let's see, 29. Hmm. 22 years ago? 22, is that right? 20, yeah, 22 years ago. Um, it also scored me, let's see, on the Cambridge Educational Test. I came up with Social Style, followed by Investigative, Enterprising, Artistic, um, then towards the bottom, Realistic and Conventional. Ha ha ha. Go figure. Um, let's see. Individuals whose S score, oh, it's the Merkler style preference inventory, is one of the three highest for them, will likely find the following statements to be true and descriptive of the ways in which they interact with the environments and enjoy dealing with their lives. This knowledge, when used in conjunction with information from their other two highest style areas and information relating to the three styles and the various appropriate combinations, bleh, uh, yield useful information about potential academic subjects and majors, possible career choices. You are concerned about people and working with them in a helping way. Boy, isn't that the truth. Whatever you do, it must involve interacting with people. Humanistic is the term to describe you. You take your cues from others and are sensitive to their needs and concerns, perceiving things from their points of view. You will tend to be very flexible and adaptable. You have a strong social conscience and will likely be very concerned about social issues. Being as people-oriented as you are, you will also tend to be outgoing and expressive. Introvert. Yeah. You will tend to be highly verbal. You'll learn best in situations with emphasized group participation and teamwork, discussions, and projects. Such people as you will tend to prefer courses which utilize multiple choice and short answer testing as well as group projects. Investigative individuals, uh, da, 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 da. you're more concerned with what might be than what is. The I in your code could just as well represent imaginative or intellectual. And you'll prefer activities in which you can use your mind to analyze information, whether in hard science, laboratory research, or in bibliographic, historic, or field investigative fact-finding research. Where am I now? Internal audit. You're extremely task-oriented and diligent. You're very analytical and are skilled at solving problems. You'll probably enjoy solitary activities, or at least activities with a strong focus that demands your close attention to the exclusion of social interaction. Isn't that funny that the two top scores 79 and 74 uh, are almost opposite. Um, you're extremely, let's see, what did I say here? 
You'll likely learn best in situations in which theory is important and thinking and reasoning are required. You would tend to prefer situations in which possibilities and alternatives abound. Uh, you would prefer dealing with abstractions and ideas rather than with memorization of facts. Yes, although I used to be very good at memorization of facts. Uh, you'll enjoy information gathering and be willing to remain at such tasks for long periods of time in the quest for truth. Yeah, that's, that's pretty much true, too. Although I've got to say, folks, there's so much information on the Internet. I love it, and at the same time, I am tired and overwhelmed, and I can't keep up with all my friends. I can't keep up with everybody's posts. Um, and it makes me a little bit sad because, you know, I, I've pretty much fallen in love with friends that I've never met. And um, the ones that I have met and, and loved from a child, I still love to this day. Um, let's see, top three. Number three for me at 69 was enterprising, followed by artistic at 68. Um, says you value performance and output, you want responsibility and control, and will strive for leadership positions. Yes, I wanted to be president. Better to lead than follow. I guess that was my theory. I don't like the direction things are going. Maybe, maybe I should be in charge. And I know most of you believe nobody should be in charge, or we should all be in charge of ourselves. Um, as long as that's reasonable, as long as nobody's harming anybody else, I'm, I'm good with that. Um, you need to be able to exert influence and be at or near the center of activities. You will not be afraid to take unpopular positions if necessary to achieve your goals. Tradition is not important to you. Eh, some traditions are. Um, you tend to crave action and personal involvement. You tend to do well in the creation of new projects. Your main focus is on doing and obtaining results. You would tend to seek leadership roles. Self-reliance and independence are vital to you. Very likely, you're competitive, striving to do your best at all times. You prefer situations in which you may learn material in your own way. Moreover, you prefer individualized evaluation situations in which you are able to demonstrate your abilities. For example, term papers and reports or essay tests. Yes, sadly, I was one of those very, very annoying people to go to school with. Anybody who went to school with me uh, knows that. Um, I, I think I got called a know-it-all. I got called Kela brain cells because I was just so excited by learning and information. If I knew the answer, I was like, me, 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 and they're like, shut up. Um, so what else do we have here? Uh, the strong interest inventory. Uh, very high interest artistic, creating or enjoying art. I wish I were more talented. I would definitely be doing that. Social, helping and instructing, and conventional accounting and processing data came after that, followed by um, researching, analyze, selling, managing, building, and repairing. Uh, and basic interest scale, I have a very high interest in everything. Oh. And uh, let's see, what did I say? We're working performing or enjoying music, drama, participating in spiritual activities, persuading or influencing people, reading or writing, working in structured settings. And the top occupational jobs they picked for me were librarian, translator, English teacher, social science teacher, foreign language teacher. I wish. I wish I could pick up foreign languages very fast. Um, my my dream was to be an interpreter when I was a child, and, and I wanted to make peace. I told somebody that today. I told my, my new boss that today, that my dream was to be an interpreter at the UN and help make world peace or help solve the problem, because I figured if everybody would, could just communicate and listen to each other and really hear each other and, and see the other person's side, that surely to goodness we, could, we can have peace. I know we can. Um, Lawyer, musician, broadcaster, technical writer, or minister. <laughs> yeah. And this was based on this uh, huge multi-part testing that they did. Again, that was at age 29, almost 30. Okay, so now that I've bored you out of your mind, Here's a little bit of poetry. These are some of my favorite poems. Paint for me. Paint for me a picture of the sun, molten, 
golden. Paint for me a mountain, throne of God. Let me hear the breezes, rustling, brushing. Find for me a path no one has trod. Paint for me the ocean, ebbing, flowing. Let me see the seas, bright emerald green. Look into my eyes, see what I'm knowing. Destroy me if you must, but not my dream. It's kind of along the lines of the theme of you can destroy the, the messenger, but not the message. I can cope. One day I'm lost, next day I'm found. One hour up, the next I'm down. Once I believed and once I hoped. Once I despaired and then I groped. One hour laughed, next hour cried. One hour given, the next denied. Once I despaired and then I groped. Then I stood up and yes, I coped. For I have loved and laughed and dreamed back and forth in two extremes. And in love, I've won and lost, and I've learned at quite a cost. But where once I despaired and then I groped, I've taken hold, and I can cope. Untitled, July 28, 1984. I've shared these before, but like I said, they're some of my favorites. I actually took the time to type them up on pretty pink paper. Right, white, black, wrong, whistle, whisper, sing a song, sing a song of longing, cry, wish upon a star and sigh. Up, right, left, down, head in clouds, feet on the ground, spinning, spinning madly, in and out, cry out in a silent shout. Sing a song of longing, cry wish upon a star and sigh, fall up then and drown in sky, live it up or fall and die. It was a mo morose little critter. Um, on the outskirts, on the fringes, standing silent by a wall, standing up against the masses, trying not to stumble, fall, kissing off the new conventions, kissing off the standard ways, kissing off hypocritic conventions, offering up your own style praise. Standing tall to all who'd fall you. Speaking up on your own part. Telling all of those who'll listen. Listen to and speak your heart. For what? Here I am with that want again that cannot be appeased. What is it that I'm longing for? What is it that I need? Shot down again, I feel it grow. I feel the tension build. Some kind of strange, dark emptiness that cannot be fulfilled. The web grows larger yet within, and yet again I'm caught. Subconscious want, unnamed desire. I'm yearning. But for what? That's for all of you who understand the craving when you don't know what it is you're craving. <laughs> What would be the difference? If you could see things through my eyes, then you might call me fool or wise. You might see through my clown's disguise. But what would be the difference? And if I could see things through your eyes, could we then find a compromise and do away with alibis? I doubt it. And could I change your point of view to let you see things as I do? Would I not also be changing you I can't do it. For if I changed you and you changed me, and we could see as the other sees, it'd still be you and I, not we, though we might understand. We'd still be opposite extremes, with our treasure troves of broken dreams, still pulling ourselves apart at the seams, just pulling in different directions. That was about uh, the one love that that truly, truly broke my heart and died, and I couldn't save him. It still makes me sad. But it's a sunny day, and I heard that it's supposed to storm tomorrow. So I mowed part of the grass, and I found that I have a little mama cat and kitten on the property. So hopefully I'll be able to catch them before there are more babies and more babies. And, uh, gave them a bite to eat, scared them out of their wits by running the lawnmower. But um, 
and try to get them caught and taken care of and maybe settled. And um, hopefully, as time goes by, I'll, I'll be taking more photos of kitties and flowers and sharing what I find beautiful, like the sky or the berries in my backyard. You know, I just love it. There's, there's nothing in the world to me that says freedom like being able to to pick a fruit or a vegetable and just eat it right there. Um, makes me think about being in that that Garden of Eden, whether you believe in it or not. That that dream still, I think, how wonderful it would be to have not a care in the world, and everything's right there. You need some food? Ah, it's on a tree. No need to work, no need to worry, uh, just every day is a new adventure. So anyway, I uh, hope everybody's having a good day or had a good day. And, uh, and I'm just taking a bath over here and I'm going to go see what I can do about dinner because it's almost time for my honey to be home. Peace, be kind to one another, talk to you later.